My name is Talia Fisher and I am founder and director of All Seated in a Barn. We are starting this series to kind of give you all a look at what goes on weekly behind the scenes here at All Seated in a Barn. It's another way that we connect you with our trainers, our new project across the street on the 14 acres, our vets, our fair team, our volunteers, our events, all of our community programs that we do out here. It's just another way that we can get you involved so that you can feel even more inspired and passionate about helping us continue to help them. Our ultimate goal is that the more we can get you engaged and behind what we're doing, the more we can grow this series to become something even bigger, even better. Hi, my name is Desiree at All Sea in the Barn. I usually help with the vet days on Tuesdays and Fridays. There is a few donkeys are in stalls and few horses in stall. The farrier is, they're doing a list of things today with donkeys, horses, and Belgian giraffes to get their trim done. So Cleven is only two and a half years old. So he is a giant Belgian giraffe, which means he's still growing up to five, I believe. This is his first time out here, so he's doing pretty good so far. So what we did today were his x-rays on his hocks, x-rays on his front end, so that we can now move forward with not just a second opinion from a farrier outside of California, but also so we can get with our farrier to work as a team to make sure that we can somehow get this baby horse moving in the right direction. He has had a lot of negligence to his well-being and who he is, and he's just massive and he grew way too fast. Hi, I'm Walker Reynolds. I'm working out at All Seed in a Barn today, and we're gonna work on Ziggy and Presley, and both of them, just regular trims. We've been doing them for a while now, so we just and got them out of the pasture, just gonna trim their feet, and it should be pretty easy. My name is Terry, and I've been with All Feed in the Barn about five years now. Some of the horses, when we get them from the auction, can't travel yet. They're either too sick, or they're too injured, or they're too skinny, and they just don't have the energy to make the trip. So we have a quarantine back in Texas that they can stay there for however long they need to until they are able to travel, and then they come out here for training, assessment, any more vet work that didn't get done back there. I cannot wait to tell you guys all about the story of Kumquat today. This little man is so small and he keeps escaping. We've never had a mini this small before. Hi, my name is Nick here at All Seed in the Barn. Is this little donkey right here. Funny enough, he somehow keeps escaping. He rolls underneath this fence and then he jumps over this fence and he runs out into the orchards. He's done it about four times in the last two days. So where he's escaping from, right there where that Zorse is, we got a little pallet. We zip tied it, we put some bell and twine and we drilled that pallet on, hoping it'll work, but as you you can see right there he's trying to jump through those two rails so yeah what happens at the barn always eventful you never know what you're gonna run into Devin Vaughn, I train horses down here at All Seated in the Barn for Talia. Oh, this here's Antonio. He's a Mexican race horse. He's got a tattoo on his lip, so he's off the track. We found out he's from Mexico. Um, I've been working with him now for about two weeks. Pretty decent to ride, but he's got a problem standing at a hitching rail. So we do a lot of a lot of patience time with him. How we deal with horses, you never really know what they're gonna do. So you just gotta be around them, figure out their kinks, and you try to work through them. You know, sometimes when they have problems standing at the rail, it could have been a number of things that caused it. What they do in my program and staying at the rail, doing it over and over again. The consistency is what they get used to. They'll get used to doing it every day. It'll make them more comfortable. The more that you're doing things around them, so saddling horses, working horses, riding horses, doing all that type of stuff around them, they get more comfortable with standing there. Or maybe they were only tied out in a quiet environment, you know, and back here, it's more of a open environment. There's a lot of other horses, a lot of other things going on. So sometimes they're not too used to that, but at the end of the day, they get there. So today, one of the Belgian babies that we rescued in April was picked up and on the way to his new home down in Malibu. Um, a lovely couple showed up to transport him. This baby, he came from the Amish, so he hasn't had a lot of education with loading trailers. And today was his first time very clearly loading onto a slant load, but with a ramp. We took it really easy with him. I am all about building confidence, not reinforcing with treats when it comes to things like that. I want them to find it within themselves and not because someone's giving them a cookie so I very graciously turned down the treat and I just you know used a lot of rubbing down the neck rubbing on the face and positive talk and he loaded like a champ once that baby got his legs going up that ramp we were in he was happy he ate his hay and it was such a good team effort getting that baby up on that trailer Everyone. 
hi, my name is Abram and I work in Austin in the barn and I just pick up poop to make sure the water's clean, make sure the feed is good, make sure they're eating good and healthy. Well, my day is be going pretty good. My day is going awesome. I also do a lot of grooming and I like a lot of hands-on with the horses, especially the ones that come in, don't have any life in their eyes, that are very shut down. I like to work with them. And then the ones that are afraid of human touch. I like to go in with them and get them used to being touched. I do like the challenge of bringing the light back into their eyes. Just little baby steps toward trust. If it's just to touch my hand or just not run away from me, that's a step in the right direction. Thank you so much for being a part of our series today. We hope that you enjoyed seeing what we do on a weekly basis, and we hope to see you back next Sunday. The best way to support us is always through donations, whether that be product that we need or monetary. And you can do that by joining our Patreon, going to the website, or visiting any of our social media platforms for links on the best ways to help us.